glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore, alongside Danny Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for our main event of the evening. Boy, we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Carlos Monzon's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Miguel Cotto's ring walk is very interesting here. This isn't over the top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. Well off the mark by Miguel Soto. Protecting his head well with his guard. And a well-placed counter by Carlos Monzo. 
Carlos Monzon's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counter punch. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow down. You hit him out of the chin and you make him say, hey, I don't want to walk in. But when you make a miss and you counter, that slows him down too. Scoring well with that combination by Carlos Monzon. I feel like we've watched this script play out before. Miguel Cotto. Able to withstand damage. Able to land the hook to the head. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landing. Good flush shot upstairs. Seconds remaining in this round. Unable to make an impact there by Miguel Cotto. Monzon's got that look. He's got that look like, hey, I know exactly why I had success in that last round. He was able to stun his man, Teddy. Yeah, you can see that confidence, that body mind. But now it's up to an adjustment from his opponent. There's the hook. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Miguel Cotto's defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. Monzo put these punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's just beautiful to watch. What? On the receiving big shot, Miguel Cotto opened up, and he was taken down. Good power shot from his opponent. Miguel Cotto's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Miguel Cotto with a big left hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He gets off with a combination up top. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be on a danger but still close enough to then land a counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. He has found his groove with his right hand. Kodos hit by a counter punch there. go in this third round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Start of round number four, a chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. He's trailing three rounds to zip, Teddy. People will be looking at this and say, yeah, but he's throwing punches, but Teddy's throwing clean, effective punches. Exactly. It's about not standing in front of your opponent after the punch and waiting for the receipt. Miguel Cotto is sticking to his game plan regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, the one fight you could compliment him for, Joe, so you could say hey, he understands who he is, he understands his identity, he's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there and it served him well. Miguel Cotto's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's really simple. The old times you say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you.
want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it.